by President Paul Kagame will run for a third term on August 4th against Frank Cabineza, nominated by the opposition Democratic Green Party, and Philip Mpaimana. Kagame widely admired for restoring stability to the East African nation after its 1994 genocide, presiding over rapid economic growth and a relatively corrupt, uh, corruption, uh, corrupt, corrupt government has held power for the last 17 years and these polls are seen more as a coronation of the incumbent more than it is a contest. The ruling Rwanda Patriotic Front launched the re-election campaign for its leader President Paul Kagame with rallies in Ruhanga, the heartland of his support base and the capital city Kigali. Kagame who is running for a third term after Rwandans voted overwhelmingly to support changes to the constitution that would allow him to extend the term in office until 2034, has been president since 2000, but effectively in control since his rebel force marched into Kigali in 1994 to end the genocide. He is widely admired for restoring stability to the East African nation and presiding over rapid economic growth and creating a relatively corruption-free government. We are moving forward and we already put one pace ahead, but now it is up to you to put another step ahead. That is my dream. Kagame will run against the opposition Democratic Green Party's Frank Cabineza, whose platform includes investing in agriculture, increasing salaries for the security forces, and ending political detentions. There's also an independent candidate, Philip Mpaimana. We've come from very far, but thanks to Kagame, we can progress and we are safe. Despite being poor in resources, Rwanda is a rising star in Africa for donors and investors, and Kagame has been featured as a visionary leader and an African icon. However, activists say development has come at the expense of civil liberties and media freedom. Kagame is also accused by critics of being authoritarian and trampling on political freedoms. Some of his political opponents have been killed after they fled abroad in cases that remain unsolved. When you call someone a dictator, it's a very subjective thing. Um, how do you define a dictator? Um, is there citizen participation in decision making in Rwanda? Yes, there is. Is there a community um, assessment of leaders? Yes, there is. Uh, do we have independent judiciary? Do we have a parliament? Do we have uh, institutions that work? Yes, there is. So when you say someone's a dictator, unless you set up your own definition of a dictator, it's no here, no there, like they would say in, uh, in, uh, in, in law. It's, it, people, people usually do that for disparaging purposes. It's no, it's, it's no, it makes no sense. Rights groups say the government and the ruling RPF have become increasingly intolerant of dissent and criticism. The Democratic Green Party is the only registered opposition party in the country. Janet Chapia, KTN News.